Hey guys, this is Jackspot from Windows Phone Hacker, and today I'm going to show you Ubuntu for the HD2 uh, version 0 0.3 uh, running here on my HTC HD2. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so here we are on the main screen of Ubuntu for the HTC HD2. And it's got this nice uh, Unity interface that you would see on a netbook, for example. Um, and on top of that, it's got an on-screen keyboard and a couple of things to help it uh, really fit into both a mobile and a desktop OS uh, feel. So you know, I'm going to go ahead and close out the keyboard just so we can see better. Uh, and here we have some nice kinetic scrolling on your favorites. And if you're familiar with Ubuntu Netbook Remix, uh, then this should be right at home for you. Um, over here we have the files, here's the storage card, and then a couple of uh, built-in folders. And if you look closely, you can actually see the cursor moving around on the screen. Um, under accessories, we have simple stuff, the calculator, keyboard in case you, get, uh, in case you accidentally close it, and um, log out options searching the terminal, which is useful. Um, under internet, we have some options to switch between 3G mode and Wi-Fi mode. Um, and we have Firefox and Finnick. Under games, we've got Sudoku and Solitaire and Mahjong. Uh, so, of course, you know, just sort of basic games to have a little bit of fun with on your HD2. Um, not a whole lot under graphics. Office uses, uh, I guess it's pronounced Zoho um, Office. It's, not, it's nothing like Open Office, but... It still gets the job done. Um, under sound, we've got some sound recording. And uh, under system, we've got a whole bunch of settings that you can mess with or probably shouldn't for your device. All right, so if you look over on the top, you can see a couple of different settings. This particular one looks like a cell tower. And clicking on it, All right, and clicking on it shows your current provider, in this case, Singular or AT&T. Uh, you can send an F SMS, you can view your SMS history, and you can change a couple of different settings. Uh, here we have an option for the on-screen keyboard. Um, and we have some battery status over here, which does not appear to be working that well because when I checked Windows Mobile, the device was fully charged. However, this is showing an empty battery, so I'm not sure what is up with that, but... Uh, it's working fine so far and it will display if it's charging. Over here we have some clock speed settings where you can set your uh, where you can set your device's clock speed. And I'm going to switch over to performance mode just to see uh, a little bit better performance when showing this off. All right, so now that we have the basic overview done, we're going to go and jump into the Firefox web browser just to sort of show off the web browsing experience on Ubuntu uh, for the HTC HD2 uh, because web browsing seems to be a major factor in uh, mobile devices whether it be tablets, phones, netbooks, etc. So here we are on the HTC Linux homepage and it's actually pretty cool. You can use kinetic scrolling or uh, drag scrolling at least uh, to navigate the website and it, it runs pretty smooth. Um, and of course you can click on links and etc. So it works just the way you would expect it to. Nice desktop view in the browser. Very nice. And of course here is the XDA developers announcement about the release of this very operating system. So just to put it to the test, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to our own website, Windows Phone Hacker. And we can go ahead and try out the on-screen keyboard as well.
All right, so not the easiest typing experience, but I'm sure after a while you could get used to it. So let's go ahead and hit enter. And actually very fast loaded up our website. Let's wait for some of the rest of the content to load up. We can go ahead and minimize this. And sure enough, here we have our website. Now one of the cool things about Ubuntu for the HTC HG2 is it actually brings in your calling functionality and the stuff like that uh, right onto the Ubuntu interface. Uh, so even though you're running Ubuntu, you can still access texting and calling, although it may not be as seamless as you might hope. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send a text message to the device and we'll see what happens. Alright, and it is sent. Alright, and we have a nice little message up on the screen um, with the message I sent and uh, who it's from, which is just from a default number because it was sent over email. So I'm going to go ahead and try to reply to this and see if it works. All right, so for lack of a more creative message, I'm just going to send hi and press send. And we'll see if we receive it. And sure enough, the message has been received. So, very cool, works fairly seamlessly. There's also some options for sound and vibration, but I haven't been able to get those to work right, but I'm sure it's just... Uh, something I'm doing wrong on my end. And there's also some calling functionality that we can mess with real quick. Alright, so let's go ahead and test out the dialer real quick. And because I have no better number to call, and I know that it is automated because I've had to call it several times, I'm going to go ahead and call Comcast Customer Support. All right, well, let's try this out. There does not appear to be any audio in the call, but I'm sure that's coming fairly soon, or there's just something wrong with this particular device's radio. All right, so that's just a quick look at using Ubuntu for the HTC HD2 version 0.3. Uh, thanks to all the developers who made this. Uh, we'll have a tutorial on how to install this coming up fairly soon. There'll be a link to it in this video. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. And remember, when turning off this uh, when shutting down Ubuntu for the HTC HD2, be sure to use the shutdown button and don't pull the battery, as some users have been reporting some issues when pulling the battery. So simply just press shutdown for, the, uh, for HD2, press shutdown, and the device will take care of the rest. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like this video.